of the unique and interesting fuse items, the Marble Goma's little bomb rock thingies are pretty unique and pretty specific and pretty useful, actually. I adore these things. If you go down to find the marbled goma, to beat it up in the depths, I used to think there was one spot only, but thank you for telling me there's multiple. There are, and I have one right here that I go to. It is near the, oh lord, usanage, something light root, and you can go fight the boss battle. I'm not going to destroy him in this battle because I just want the bomb rocks. That's all I'm after. So if you get into battle and whatnot, you can go fight him, but you can also get these bomb things to fuse with. And that's what I'd like. But the actual... The best ones for this are actually in the second half of the battle. So once you beat this guy about halfway, it activates the second half. It screams and it gets more fierce and it releases these bomb things that surround you. And those are the ones that are worth grabbing. You can grab some and fuse them to items to make sure you can take them out now and then bring them to the take it apart shop and take them apart. Um, or you can even fuse them together with each other to have it in the auto build library because that's kind of what we're doing with this. We're going to use auto build with all this. So after you survived your interaction with the Goma and everything, you're going to, of course, go to Terry Town in order to break it apart, let's say. Now, keep in mind, these are still bombs. So you can easily, so you're on a time limit. Okay, wow, that thing is extremely massive. Please remember though, they're still bombs. You can hear it actively ticking and it will definitely explode as you bring it out. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so you're gonna need to fuse it with something in order to have it in the auto build section and not just explode when it comes on out because that's just no good and this is simple you can have it fused to something very basic like a horn of a monster just so you can have that on demand i would say or you can be smarter about it and kind of just use a cardboard cutout of say hudson thank you so much again for tipping me off about how there are these cardboard hudsons you can get oh. if you go over to this little cave part of the town on the side of the building after you know the door is stuck well the door is stuck because there's hudson by the door and uh, if you go underground get the bubble frog and then you can ascend on upwards and you can get into that storage room that has all the cardboard cutout hudson's and then you have some like at your fingertips so i'll take hudson i'll you know fuse him to a shield it's very comical and then i will put it attach it to the fused bomb just so it has something and then with that you can use that against enemies and things for what, like six to nine or something like Zona, you can create this big bomb thing that does a lot of damage. It's also a very heavy item. It's very useful. And then if you want to use the fused all four of them, you can do that too. As like this brigaded wall of just fusion bombs ready to go off. They are huge and they are pretty lethal. I like them. They're also, like I said, extremely heavy. So if you want to use them to gain height or something by using like a seesaw or I don't know, something else, if you want to, you can. With other fused items, sometimes you'll drop it on there. They may be, they, they may be huge, but they aren't that heavy. The marbled goma thing is extremely heavy. And so that's just, you know, a tip off if you want to use it in different ways. But no, this is definitely a rare, scrappable item that you can find just about anywhere in the depths. Not anywhere in the depths, in those specific battles. But once you get into those battles, you can steal those rocks and use them in a number of ways. So yeah, just be careful. Like I said, they are bombs. If you have it attached to a weapon or something, it will explode after a few seconds and stuff. You know, 
you'll figure it out if you start tweaking around with them and, you know, quickly learn. I hope you enjoyed this little fact. I just really loved seeing this thing and wanted to, of course, share it. Let me know your thoughts or experiences as well as how you might have used it before or might use it in the future. Let's see. But yeah, let me know and I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Stick around, subscribe. Either way, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much and bye-bye.